Hey, I'm Jason for the Extreme Sounds YouTube channel, and today we'll be looking at this Vivitar 28mm wide angle f2.8 prime lens. <laughs> I've been doing a lot of work with my DSLR for video and I've been using the kit lens, 18-55, you know, the standard nickel lens you get with it. And it's alright, it's really helped, um, there's nothing wrong with kit lenses at all in the sense of how much they cost. But I thought I really wanted to get some proper um, investment on good quality lenses. So I was looking around and a lot of people suggest that you get older prime lenses because, for instance, the focus is really, really smooth and the general quality is so much better and so much higher quality than um, kind of price equivalent lenses you could get today. But this one, 28mm, now this actually works very well on full frame 35mm sensors and because I'm using it as a, on a cropped um, D30-100 APS-C body there's no vignetting to speak of and quite sharp and I'll get to that later. So the aperture range of this lens is actually really nice. It goes from f2.8 all the way up to f16. Now we've done a couple of sharpness tests and the lens is rather soft at 2.8 but gradually all the way up to 16 you start getting really really sharp video or photos. I reckon it does perform its best at f16 but even down at f5.6 it's still pretty sharp and it's fantastic in low light. We've seen some really, really good examples of low light capabilities with this lens. I've tried it um, in cars in like pitch black and I've been recording and you get the whole of the road in front. No matter what lighting conditions, it is fantastic. And if you're wondering, the camera I'm testing this with to get these results is just a Nikon D3100 so again automatic exposure for video and it still performs beautifully. Now the construction of the lens is really something quite special. Um, I've been used to the extremely plasticky um, 1855 kit lens and now I've gone to this um, with a huge jump in quality. The rear mount is a Nikon F mount and it is all metal and um, it doesn't scratch easy at all it's just absolutely beautiful condition. The aperture ring, again, it's a manual lens and there's an aperture ring which is, you can hear that, it does click. Um, it's not terribly consistent click but it is absolutely fine, there's nothing to worry about. It's very, um, very solid feel to it. Now, if you do look, there is a small kind of metal I don't know what you call it, it's a little metal um, bracket attached to the aperture ring and I found it a bit confusing at first but then I reckoned it's for SLR cameras where you don't have the flash um, the flash head on top of the camera in the way and you can just flip the aperture using this little uh, sort of bracket there. Now I have mentioned the focal length before, it is a 28mm prime lens. Now interestingly enough it does fit um, 35mm full frame sensors or film and that means it does have stamps on the front wide angle. Now I'm using it on my APS-C Nikon body and that is around about a 1.5x crop. I think the Canon APS-C is 1.6x crop, so it's more. And that gives you a focal range of about 44mm, so that's very close to the Nifty 50 style shooting. Um, and I quite like that, it's quite hard to film in this room um, if you're wondering, I'm not off, I'm also not filming on this. On the lens I'm using, I think it's at 45mm set, uh, I'm not sure. And it's quite hard to use this lens as a wide lens in this room I've got. Also, this lens does focus pretty closely actually. It goes all the way down to 03 meters, which I think is actually closer than the kit lens will which is really handy actually because of the 2.8 aperture you really want that proper proper depth of field. I think I'm just going to go and pop the lens on to the body right now. So I'm just going to take off the 18-55 lens. The Vivitar 28mm prime lens. 
first of all, I'm really, really sorry for my microphone not working before. Um, this is kind of more how you see my YouTube videos nowadays. I've got the 1855 kit lens I was using before, and it's quite a lot bigger than the prime lens, as you can see. Um, it does zoom, but it's, again, you know, it's very, very plasticky. I um, mean, it's nothing wrong, I'm not trying to bash kit lenses because um, they do a fantastic job at the price they are to get a really good image. One really, really good thing about this prime lens is that you can change the aperture while in video. There's no messing around having to go out of live view and then back in again because it's all manual. There's no electronic connection to the camera. Um, it does a fantastic job of getting really, really clean images, even in fairly dark conditions. Right now I'm using um, fill light and then kind of a, another kind of spotlight bouncing off the ceiling. So it's not low light, but it's definitely not bright at all. It's really quite dark and hopefully it should look a lot better. And if it isn't in focus, then it's just because I'm having trouble at the 2.8. It's a bit it's a bit shallow. <laughs> Please subscribe because I've got loads of really good content. As you can see, you've got a new lens. So I'm Jason. See ya.